in our two router files, you'll see that we use the same URL for almost all of our specific paths. Uh, and so you'll see for the get route, we'll use slash posts. For the post, we use slash posts. Uh, from the get specific post, we do slash post and then the ID. And then the same thing goes for delete and, uh, and put as well. And I think it's kind of annoying having to continuously uh, copy and paste the same exact path when it's pretty much just a copy from each one. So is there a way we can kind of remove this unnecessariness? It doesn't seem like that big of an issue, but keep in mind that our API is very simple, right? Other APIs could have very long, complex, uh, you know, uh, routes that you know may not look as simple as ours so they could have you know multiple things right so it could look something like that and then having to kind of copy and paste all of that uh, every on every single route can seem a little unnecessary and so anytime you're working with routers what we can actually do is we can pass in a uh, parameter into the api router uh, function or method and so what we can say was prefix and we're going to say that since every single route in this file always starts with slash posts we can say prefix equals slash posts. And so now anytime you see a slash post, we can just remove that and just put in a slash. So this is just going to be a slash. And then when it gets to slash post slash ID, this is where it gets a little tricky. But once again, we just remove everything but a slash. And so what this is saying is that we're going to take slash posts and then we're going to append it with ID, right? Because that's, that's what this is saying. We're saying slash ID. So it's actually appending it with slash ID. So the final thing actually looks like it's going to look like slash posts slash ID. So nothing actually changes. It's just a simpler way to do things so that we don't have to write slash posts everywhere. And so we can, re uh, we can remove this and just do a slash ID and we can just do slash ID here as well. And we're going to do the same thing in the users file as well, because uh, both of them start with slash users. And so we're going to put in a prefix here and we're going to say slash users. So this can just be removed to slash and this can be removed to just slash ID. All right. And once again, we're going to test this out. We're just going to test a couple of routes. So if get routes, get posts work. And if create, well, we'll try a get one post that works perfectly. And then let's try creating a new user. We have to give it another unique email. Looks like it works. And then finally, uh, get user. We're going to try this again. And it looks like it all works. So, uh, you know, this is a completely optional step. It doesn't change the functionality of things, but I think it does make it a little bit easier to read um, because we put the prefix up here so that we don't have to keep copying and pasting. Now, as I mentioned, one of my favorite features of FASTA API is the automatic documentation that comes from Swagger UI. Uh, and so if you actually navigate to the URL, but just go to slash docs like I have, that's where you're going to see the documentation like I said, this is interactive documentation, so you can actually make requests from here. So you didn't technically have to use Postman for a lot of things. You can just test it out right here, and it's going to do the same thing. However, I did also want to teach Postman. But the reason I bring this up again is that uh, you'll notice how we've got a couple of routes for dealing with posts, and then we've got a couple of routes for dealing with users, and then we've got this random test one that we created when we were first learning about path operations. And what I would like to do is I would like to structure this documentation so that uh, instead of kind of grouping them all together, we can kind of group them based off of uh, the their responsibility. So I would like to create a group that handles all of the post operations. Uh, so all of these five right here. And then I would like a separate group uh, that handles all of the user-based operations so that it's a little bit easier for your clients and your users to understand what each one does by grouping them accordingly uh, based off of their specific action. And so I want to have a group that actually is titled posts and a group that's titled users so that when they see that, they say, oh, the user section is going to be dealing with users and the post section is going to be dealing with posts. Uh, and getting this fixed uh, or update in our code is super simple with Fast API. So uh, let's go to our Fast API, go to our routers. And if we go to the post.py, uh, to add a specific group name, what we call, uh, it's actually called a tag. So we say tags equals, and we just say posts. And I forgot that comma right there. And we do the same thing for users. So we'll say tags equals. Users. And you see, you can see that this is a list, so you can pass more than one. Um, but we'll save that. And then I'm going to refresh this page. And 
And so now you can see that we now have these little titles so that we can now group our specific requests uh, into categories. Uh, and so the readability of our documentation has improved tremendously with essentially one line of code.